Hey, this is Simeon from PraiseTracks.com. And normally, you'll see me doing piano videos or uh, orchestral libraries and that type of thing. But today's going to be a little bit different. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Voxessor uh, plugin from United Plugins. And it is a plugin designed to give you the best possible uh, voiceover uh, sound when you're doing uh, like, like these review videos, uh, live streams, and uh, that kind of thing, narrations, etc., on your videos. So uh, we're going to dive in and take a look at this plugin. I think it's really interesting. So come along. So you can see that I have. Um, Cakewalk by BandLab open, and this is what I normally use for my live streams. I'll, I'll have an audio channel set up for my vocal, and uh, I'll have some plugins in here. Uh, you notice right away, the first thing that I have is the, um, the Waves uh, NS1, and it is a broadband noise reduction plugin. Because um, in in the in environment that I do my live streams, we're doing it in an office that uh, you know unfortunately doesn't have a lot of soundproofing, and um, you know, and I want to cut down on that broadband noise. So I've got it engaged right now. I'm going to turn it off so you can kind of hear the uh, the difference. Um, so uh, the air the the heat's not running, the fans aren't running now, but the computer and the, just the ambient noise. So we're going to toggle this on and off so you can just get a baseline from for where we are. Okay, and that's uh, without the uh, noise reduction. And now I'm going to switch it on. And you can hear right away. It just kind of cuts out that really um, annoying uh, broadband noise. So that's where we're going to use as a baseline uh, for these tests today. So uh, here is Voxessor. And you can resize the plug-in. It comes as a VST2, VST3. So basically, it's like a channel strip uh, type of plugin, a very specialized channel strip that's geared specifically to doing voiceovers. So starting at the top, we've got uh, like I would call it a, ma a macro control. Uh, so like macaroni, I used to say macro, and and then I'm you know it's macro. <laughs> so it's it's like a macro EQ that will. Um, and I've got it disengaged right now, but uh, you can go from different profiles, uh, from man, guy, woman, and girl, and everything in between. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and engage uh, the plugin over here in my uh, channel effects rack. One thing that you have to be careful, and it, you know, when you're wearing headphones and you're in close proximity to the microphone, uh, you may get some bleed, especially these, they're, they are open back. So I'm gonna engage this and turn my headphones down first because uh, believe me, I got, I've, I've gotten hit a couple of times. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so now uh, voice Vox Esser is engaged. I'm gonna just double click the init preset. You can see that it's, uh, you know, you can, you can hear, you can hear what's going on with this. And it, uh, by default, it kind of uh, selects a little bit before the guy increases the input gain a little bit, just does some little things. The compressor and gate are, uh, you know, at 50%. Uh, one thing you can do, you can hit shift and click and you'll, you can pull up these uh, value boxes here. And you can also double click as well. So to get those, and you can input them uh, with the mouse or with the keyboard. And, um, you know, so we can check that out. So the de is engaged. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sweep through the, um, the macro up here, and uh, let's just take a listen uh, to hear what's going on with the Voxessor. So I'm gonna start with the man, and uh, here we go. When a man, <laughs> here we go. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And you can hear how the different uh, frequency bands are being um, emphasized depending on uh, what, um, what position this macro control is. So as you go back down, it gets really thick and warm. And you go over here, it gets a little more, uh, you know, influencing those high, higher frequencies. Um, and this is another thing that I did, uh, just so we can see what's happening. Um, I went ahead and, and opened up the uh, frequency uh, analyzer from Waves. I love being able to see things sometimes because you can, you can visualize what's happening. I'm going to clear this. 
Hey, 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 one, two, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Let's try that again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you can see this cut right around 1K here. And um, now let's let's sweep it over to the um, to the girl all the way over there, and let's re-enable this. Check, check, hey, hey, one, two, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. And now you see where those frequencies are boosted some. So that makes it a little more icier and more suited for, um, you know, female voices or, you know, higher uh, tenor voices, that type of thing. So you have that control and you can just sweep that and find a sweet spot. So I'm just going to keep this frequency analyzer on. And um, so we can kind of just kind of visualize what's happening with this. One of the cool things uh, about Voxessor is that it has an analyze your voice feature that kind of will take a profile um, uh, you know, you, you do it for five seconds and let's do that. And then you can have this control to uh, put a percentage of how much it's going to influence it. So here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So you do that for five seconds and then it, um, it will take a snapshot. So now... Let's um, let's take it all the way down, and you can hear how it uh, kind of makes a little little brittle. Uh, and then as you go over, you hear it getting richer and thicker and thicker. Hey hey, A B C D E F G H I J K, and you can see in the analyzer here all of those really rich low frequencies, and not so much in the um, higher higher frequencies and then we can go back down the other direction you see those frequencies coming up so as we move this control you can just see those higher frequencies going up and down and you hear how that um, that match percentage affects it so i think that's interesting because it can kind of get a snapshot of your voice let's try that again 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 and now you can just get that going. And this is usually, um, I'm usually having the mic on the other side, but I, I like I like suspended. I, I, I don't necessarily like the mic in front of me sometimes <laughs> because of just playing and that type of thing. So let's do an AB, uh, turn off the match ideal and hear what that sounds like. So this is the match ideal turned off. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you can hear, you can hear just some subtle uh, changes there, which, uh, which I think is interesting. You have a de that you can, you can tune in there and um, just get that, get those pss, pss, tss, tss, hey, tss. Check, check, hey, hey, and you can just take those little, those little, those little, um, just really the sibilance off a little bit, and that's nice. Uh, you have a compressor that you can get that uh, going really good. In a world, in a world. So we'll, let's bring that in a world and bring them. We'll make it real thick. Yeah, you can hear how that how that affects the. Um, <laughs> You can hear how that affects the frequency range. It just boosts that low end. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. So I think um, I think right around there, that's pretty good. Now another feature they have is an auto level feature. I'm going to back that compression down, so you can kind of hear that's a little too much compression. So I'm going to back that back down to like that 50% mark. There we go. Yeah. So let's just go 50%. Here we go. Yeah, so I kind of like that. And um, so let's uh, look at this auto level. 
And again, um, be very careful with this. So if you're wearing headphones and I, I just, uh, so I'm gonna turn it down. I wanna hit the auto level because what it does, it just brings the gain all the way up and then it senses where your voice is and adjusts accordingly. So uh, here we go. We're gonna turn on the auto level. Check, 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 check. Okay, now I'm, I've brought the um, headphone level back up there and you can you can just hear how it's kind of uh, doing an auto, auto gain uh, type of thing here. So check, check, one, two. Hey, hey. And another feature that I like is the gain is the gate. I mean, the gate. So you see the gate here. Um, and so that's really good for, um, again, another type of noise reduction. So I'm going to turn off the uh, NS1. Yeah. Yeah. You can really hear the background noise now. And I'm going to increase the gate just a little bit until I don't hear that anymore. And see now, you have that gate opening and closing. And that's great for, um, another thing is to uh, be able to have it uh, so it's not hearing, you're not hearing key clicks and that type of thing and keyboard noises. Uh, instead of having to mute the mic, the gate acts like a, uh, an automated mute uh, in that respect. So, so you've got to bring it up fairly high to take out that ambient noise. Yeah, you can really hear that ambient noise now. You hear, you can see on the meter too, the low. So I'm gonna turn on the NS1 again. And it's gone. And uh, so that's why, that's why I like using that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, check. And so you can just tweak these and fine tune um, all of these controls and get it, get it in a sweet spot for yourself. And um, you can save this. I'm going to, I'm going to replace this with an earlier preset that I, that I did. And um, so that's, that's the Voxessor with the C3000. And I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, to the Yeti Pro, just so we can kind of get a comparison of the, of what the two mics sound like. Okay, now I've switched to the Yeti Pro, and the Yeti Pro has several different polar patterns. It's a stereo microphone, but I'm running it in uh, single channel mode and in the cardioid position. So you have all these different positions that you could run uh, with it, uh, the polar patterns, but I've just got the cardioid pattern set. So let's listen to the difference in the Yeti Pro uh, as opposed to the, um, to the C3000. Okay, so now we're back in the Cakewalk project and I have everything uh, bypassed except for uh, the noise reduction and I'm going to disengage that just uh, for reference. I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, so now we've got rid of all that broadband noise. <coughs> and so Voxessor is, um, is disengaged. And so what I'm going to do, again, turn your headphone volume down. And I've initiated the patch. This is the, um, the default patch. So I'm going to uh, enable uh, Voxessor. Hey, hey. Okay, so here we go. So Voxessor is enabled, and we have the guy setting here. Okay, so we go. So look at that, um, look at that analyzer there. I'm going to bring the input gain down just a little bit because you got it going crazy here. Uh, so let's bring it down to a reasonable level here. And it's on the man uh, in the EQ macro setting. Let's just do a, a quick sweep of this. Uh, here we go. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. So there is all the way to the right and hello, one, two, three, and all the way to the left. 
And uh, so let's uh, engage this auto level. Headphones down. Auto level engaged. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Check, check. Yeah, so that it's kind of like an auto makeup gain. Let's go ahead and do the analyze voice. I'm going to turn the match ideal on. And before we match it, you can you can just hear how it, uh, this is with it off. One, two, three, A, B, C, D. And I'm going to sweep it over to the 100%. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. You notice at the 100% level, it sounds more sizzly. And so I'm going to back it down to the midpoint. Now let's click on the Analyze Your Voice and um, let's get a profile for the uh, Yeti Pro. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And now let's, uh, yeah, so you hear that. I like, I like the sound of the Yeti Pro. Um, so I'm going to just uh, sweep it over to the 100%. And uh, you can just hear it getting thicker, thicker there. And we're going to back it down. Um, I, I like about the, you know, 2 o'clock setting or let's see. So that's like 50, 51%. And uh, so that's, that's kind of a nice, a nice balance there. Um, the de is engaged and the frequency here. It's around uh, 5.8K or 6K. Let's just, uh, let's just put it at 6K. 6K. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of cool. And you can adjust the amount of the DSing there. So this is the Yeti Pro and the gate. Uh, I have the gate at about uh, 50% just to kind of cut down some uh, more ambient noise. Compressors at 50 per, 54% because I don't uh, don't really like it uh, just too too pumpy or breathy. You know we, we can always have this macro control available to um, to kind of fine tune things, set the input and output gains. So that is Fox Esser from United Plugins, and I think it is a really uh, interesting toolbox to um, you know to get that voiceover just right. I think it sounds really good uh, from what I experienced. You could do this within your DAWs EQ and create your own custom effects rack, but I think uh, just with having the plugin kind of just uh, focused on. Uh, just voiceovers and that type of thing. I think it works really well. So I'll have all the links in the description uh, below uh, where you can check it out. There's a trial version available so you can uh, just experience it for yourself. So thanks for joining me and I really look forward to seeing you next time.